Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do um, your next 72 hour energy reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. I hope that you can hear me well. I don't have my mic hooked up because last time I put the mic into this camera, there was no sound. So anyway, let's get into it, uh, Cancer. So Cancer, um, you pull the star card, Aquarius, Ten of Swords, Two of Cups. Uh, I said Two of Cups. So. Two of Swords. All right, so Two of Cups coming out of my mouth. Um, I don't know. You might be trying to reconnect. And the cards speak of reconnection. Reconnecting a severed tie. A severed tie to someone. Um, you may feel right now at this point, your feelings, if you really analyze your feelings, you feel as if it is better for you two to be together than apart at this time. Because the the divide just keeps growing when you're apart it's better for you to be together right now uh with the two of cups coming out of our mouth that's how you feel right now um you feel like it's the exchange of emotions you feel like this person it, it's equality or it's equal here it's mutual the, the love is mutual okay between you and somebody else this is a love reading okay um so we have either you already have reconnected with someone or you will be reconnecting with um, a specific person. Could be an air sign, Aquarius coming up. Uh, could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. It could be anyone, okay? Um, your commitment is being tested right now. That's the Moonology card that you have. And this card specifically talks about either reconnecting, recommitting yourself to a, a something or someone. It just talks about, it's a yes card. So if you have a question, the answer is yes. Um, you just need to recommit, uh, resubmit yourself to whatever it is, a person, place, or thing, okay? Um, some of you have reservations about getting into a relationship altogether or getting into a relationship with this specific person because you have suffered disappointment you feel like you have been the martyr in this relationship you feel like you have been run over and things have run amok when you have come together with this individual you feel like all they bring is disappointment it it is you have a love for them they have a love for you but at the same time there has been great disappointment or um, unexpected, out of the blue, blindsided type of endings. Okay, and um, that that doesn't lend well to you. You don't like it. You don't want to be a part of that. Um, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, also uh, Sagittarius man. Could be talking to a Cancer man too here. Um, The Two of Swords here says that, look, whether the reunion the reunion has already happened or it will happen, it says that it will happen, okay, uh, with the Two of Swords. It says it's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of cooperation and coming together. It's been a power struggle. It's been a tug of war here between the two of you. Um, you need to definitely come back together and let bygones be bygones. You need to agree to disagree. Um, when you come back together, the Two of Swords talks about having a plan, a course of action. You guys need to have a real plan of how this is going to go. And when you, if and when you do reconcile with someone, we do have a lot of reconciliation cards, um, on the table here with the star card the two of swords and then as the advice for you cancer you have the eight of cups okay and the clarifying the eight of cups is you the chariot uh the cancer card the chariot um you need to go on your own personal quest okay 
um, this is like an emotional quest. This is when all of the emotions kind of manifest for you. Uh, we have this super moon coming up on May 26th and surprisingly you pull the super moon card. Emotions are running high and that is what it's about. The super moon is when the moon seems um, very close to the earth and it, you know, it's so visible. Okay, so something is very visible to you. It's right underneath your nose or the answer is yes to whatever it is you are inquiring about. It's just that something is going to take a little more time. Meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. Um, you need to understand that there's going to be some deep emotions that surface for you, especially with the full moon and Scorpio coming up. Some deep, serious emotions. We know that Scorpio is a very serious sign. Um, you need to combat that. You need to feel the feels. Whatever you're feeling, you need to feel it. You need to analyze it. You also need to... The, the Eight of Cups talks about self-analysis. Uh, self, uh, and it talks about courage. You're going to have to have the courage to actually come face-to-face -face with your emotions. Because some of you are a little weary about getting back into a new relationship. Um, but at the same time, you're experiencing a level of loneliness. Doesn't mean that you don't have people around. It just means that some, something or some people or these eight cups are not fulfilling you like that other cup or that other person or that other situation. But at the same time, you're weary about jumping into that relationship. Maybe because there has been a lack of control or direction. The cards, the advice for you is asking you to take control, shape the direction or direct the relationship. The seven card, the seven talks about relationships, marriages, business partnerships, uh, interpersonal relationships, equality. It talks about you needing to direct that those things um, you're going to have to be you have to get in control remember the chariot is that driving force and that victory towards whatever it is you're trying to get to um sometimes it is uh, considered the underdog it is considered the fact that um you you can really shape this to whatever it is you want but you're gonna have to analyze yourself too the Eight of Cups also talks about being guided by the, the light of the moon. So this 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 full moon or this super moon coming up is going to be rather significant to you. With uh, the full moon and Scorpio card being pulled for you, this also talks about magic. If you do any, if you know any, it says this will be the prime time to do some magic here to make and shape whatever reality you want for yourself if things did not turn out so great in a relationship because this is a love reading um this is the opportunity the prompt opportunity to get what you want you have a lot of yes cards but it's gonna take some force and some control and direction on your part uh this is not the time to be a uh, passive or take a passive approach to getting what you want this is the time for you to direct um, this uh, this relationship. Okay. Um, the Eight of Cups also, with that being the advice for you, talks about um, whatever you was a, you are expecting not to work or it, it's not working. You're gonna put you're gonna have to put lots of energy into this situation. If you do that, you can get what you want. Um, some of you, you understand that you're going to have to abandon one position with the Eight of Cups to go to that other position to get what you want. This could be abandoning a person, place, or thing to move towards something else that you really do want. Um, some of you work at night. Some of you are night hawks. You're up. Some of you are travelers. Some of you, you're restless right now because there's a lot of emotional energy here. Um, some of you need to be uh, cultivating um, or devoting your time to more spiritual growth. 
um, some of you don't have a spiritual bone in your body and you need to, or someone you're dealing with doesn't have a spiritual bone in their body and they need to be more spiritually uh, sound or have more growth in that area so that you guys can start to see eye to eye, get on the right page. Um, some of you are just feeling tied down and weighed down by the demands of life. Um, but it says keep going because you're on, you're going to have victory here. Whatever that personal victory is for you with the chariot card coming up. Uh, it could be a relationship. It could be in business. It could be in anything. But keep going. Um, they want you to know that this is a journey to self-discovery. You're going to discover something new about you. Um, also, if not new, you're going to really understand yourself or overstand yourself and your your um your capabilities your emotions um your sensibility so you're really going to to really understand you um, so that confusion doesn't rest uh in your heart and in your mind you're, you're really going to get more grounded or you need to get more grounded you have a, a choice to make here um but at the same time, you sometimes you feel like there's a power dynamic between you and a specific person um, or thing, okay? Um, you feel like you're trying to divide yourself or your, your time, your energy, your resources amongst maybe work, a person, and then just a little bit of time for yourself. Um, and that could also have, could be making you feel drained with the star card and the eight of cups being in the same reading this is definitely spiritual and emotional growth the star card talks about being on the right life path the right cycle the right path for you um it also talks about full acceptance of you something you have not been accepting about yourself or you've been trying to deny something that somebody else sees in you or about you but you've been trying to play it down or downplay it. Um, also, it says with this full moon and Scorpio card coming up for you, your shadow side is trying to either emerge or reemerge. It's like you want to do the right thing or a good thing, but you also want to do that bad thing or you want to you just want to let it all hang out. Um, so you're going to have to find balance control and direction you the chariot card is what that talks about because um it's like you want to be good but you might just be bad i don't know or somebody in your energy is just like that they want to do the right thing they want to be good but maybe to the core of them they just are bad or they they feel better in that that uh, lower vibrational energy. They don't want to ascend. They don't want to take things on high. They don't want to do any of that. But the, it looks like the cards are prompting and almost pushing you to do just those things. The Two of Swords also talks about be the Two of Swords and then the Ten of Swords here in the same uh, spread talks about be cautious of cutting off loved ones right now. You might regret it. Uh, yeah, you might live to regret it. Um, or you may do that just a, a bit too soon. Um, back to your commitment is being tested. You might need to recommit, rededicate yourself or devote yourself to someone or something. Or this is what you want to do. But then there's also that devilish side that says, no, continue on your own path, doing your own thing, even though you're lonely and you know, there's a level of despondency and there's a level of, um, you know, um, indifference still go your own way. But then there's also a side of you that says, no, I want to partner. I want to do this. I want to be in a commitment. You've got to find that healthy medium, that balance, that direction there. Um, some of you are just cautious of getting back with someone because there is disappointment or has been disappointment either on their end or on your end or the both of you have taken you both of you you know have fault in the relationship falling apart um 
collapsing because the ten of swords talks about collapse um, so the advice for you cancer right now is to go on that personal journey feel the feels walk away from what has you in a despondent type of energy where it's this kind of nonchalant where you're lethargic where your feelings aren't really feelings it's almost as if as if it's mundane it's just the same thing it's just uh, it's blah walk away from that find newness find what really fulfills you on a whole um level and it could be a person place a thing it could be all of those things but it says go on that journey of self analysis and discovery okay because you could discover something very great about yourself around the super moon coming may 26 you need to be practicing a bit of magic because if you want something to really happen in your life with a particular thing person place or thing you're going to have to make the magic happen you're going to have to put a lot of energy into something that was not working um so the uh equation for work is force times or multiply by time so force how much energy are you putting behind something and then over what amount of time you have to multiply those two things and then you get work so if you have not been putting force energy into something over a specific amount of time then of course it would not be working because the equation to work is work equals force multiplied by time uh, or distance so in that equation time and distance can be interchanged but so you you always want to just be uh, aware of that if you say that something is not working go into your your thought process and say how long have i been forcing this to work what amount of time have i been forcing this to work have i really been putting force or energy into this oh i have not okay then that's the reason why it's not working okay so you can always kind of check yourself back to that self-analysis and say okay this is why it's not working i haven't been putting no energy into it i haven't put time i haven't done anything really so yeah i get it that's why it's falling apart that's why it's half-assed so um always be checking yourself there uh cancer if you feel like this reading resonated for you go over to the website book your own reading there take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number to the number below pay for your question receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device thank you cancer many blessings to you take care